Hi, my name is Lola and I am a freshman at the Clark University. Today, we're talking about how to tell if you like or don't like a painting. When you're analyzing art or trying to figure out if you like art, the first step is knowing what that word means. So, art is the expression or application of human creative skills and imagination, typically in a visual form such as a painting or a sculpture. This is supposed to be producing work, art, that is made through an array of different visual mediums that leads to you or the viewer finding beauty or meaning within what was made. For example, again, Van Gogh's Starry Night or the painting I bought from New York. When you're looking at a painting, there are a lot of different things that can mean if you like or don't like it. For example, the colors, the shapes, the meaning behind the painting, for example, Van Gogh's Starry Night. Starry Night has a lot of yellows, a lot of blues, and a lot of swirly shapes. Van Gogh is a super famous painter. Starry Night by Van Gogh is one of the most famous paintings ever and a lot of imagery used. Imagery is what he chose while painting it to represent certain things. So, when I look at Van Gogh's Starry Night, I think about when I look out of a house or an apartment or wherever I live, and I see what the skyline looks like at nighttime. I think that the colors he used, being a lot of yellows and oranges, along with blues from light blue to dark blue, as well as a lot of blacks, I think that all of those colors are really pretty. So I think that the painting looks nice all put together. Another thing I really like about this painting is the way that he took what he saw and was able to express it. I think that that painting is really cool. An important thing when you're trying to learn if you like a painting or not is to also learn why the painter may have painted it. For example, again, Van Gogh's Sorry Night was painted because he was looking out of a hospital room. When he was looking out, he saw what we see now as a painting. But when he was in his hospital room, he was really lonely and sad. So he wanted to feel like there are people out there. So when you look at the painting, you're looking at him comforting himself with what's out there. And I think that's really nice. Although this painting might not be as well known or as famous, this is a painting I have in my room. I bought this painting this summer, and the reason why I bought it is because I liked what it represents, along with the colors they used. I liked how it was a rainbow, I liked the pink, I liked the blue that you can see in here. And the meaning of this painting is to find your brain aligned with your body. I felt that that was a really nice message, and it was really positive. I think when I look at it, I feel positive as well. There are a lot of different ways to like a painting and there are a lot of different ways to find what art means to you. So when you paint something, you're able to try to figure out kind of what that meant to you. When you paint a painting, you're trying to paint how you feel or how you feel about something you're looking at. So for example, again, Van Gogh felt lonely so he painted a big skyline with a lot of lights on in the houses so that he felt less lonely. Another example would be that painting. That person may have felt like they weren't in line with their body and their mind. So now, when I look at that painting, that's how it reminds me to feel as well. There are lots of different ways to paint things about how you feel. So the next time you're in an art class or you are having someone else share their art with you, try to pick out certain things you like. Do you like the shapes, the colors, what it means or what it means to you? The next time that you create art, try to think about what colors do you like? What do those colors mean to you? For example, my favorite color is pink. I like to buy things in pink because it makes me happy. If I was to make art and use pink in that painting, it would be a representation of what makes me happy. Another exa example would be, I think that blue can be sad. I don't like to have many blue things, although I also believe, like in that poster, it could be used as something pretty. If blue is used to represent something like the ocean, it would be happy. But if I was drawing someone who was crying, I would use blue as a way to make them look sad. 
the next time you make art, use what you like or maybe don't like so much so that you can have a better understanding of what you think is beautiful. All right, I hope that this video helped you guys have a better understanding of what you may like or don't like about certain pieces of art. Thanks for tuning in.